A senior advocate of Nigerian human rights lawyer Femi Falano has advocated the urgent need for the federal government to begin the process of recruiting more than a million active police officers to effectively provide the much needed protection for lives and property. Falano made a recommendation in Abiyokuta, the Ogun State Capital, while delivering a lecture at a one day seminar. Her correspondent Michael Adesoya reports as packaged from our studios. The seminar, which was titled SARS Between Combating Crime and Protection of Human Rights, was organized for officers of the Special anti robbery Squad, SARS, by the Police Community Relations Committee and the State Police Command. The operations of the men and the officers of the Special anti robbery Squad, an arm of the Nigerian Police Force in the recent times, has been on the lines by instances of police brutality, extrajudicial killings and flagrant violation of human rights which was necessitated the call for its scrapping in some quarters of the Nigerian society, including human rights activists. The senior advocate also called for an urgent meeting of the Nigeria Police Council to address the issues of funding of the police, recruitment and modern equipment for a new engagement and international best practices. Kidnapping, armed robbery and other violent crimes in the country. The Nigerian state cannot and will not abolish SARS. We are not going to end SARS. What we have to do as a citizen and what we must force the government to do is to reform SARS sufficiently to the extent that the men and women who are working in that division of the police force who respect the rights of our people. Also speaking, a human rights activist, Joe K. Odumaki, urged the men of SARS to continue to respect human rights and rule of law. In isolation, if we look at situation analysis, in Nigeria, the police, the police force, as not enforcement authority, as not a maximum support required from the citizens for effective performance. And that is why we are gathered here today to explain why the police has not been given maximum support. Femi Falano, while fielding questions from journalists after the program, supported the sustenance of the SARS but called for effective reforms in its operations, just as he advocated for recruitment of more police personnel, modern equipment and better funding for the force. Without adequate... No, I'm, I'm suggesting that the Nigerian Police Council, made up of the president, the governors, the IG, and the chairman of police council will have to meet urgently to embark on mass recruitment of policemen and women. We need less than, not less than one million policemen and women, well equipped and funded to police Nigeria. Otherwise, you are wasting your time. The state commissioner of police, Ahmed Ilyasu, however, sees the occasion to charge men and officers to be more professional and always obey the core mandate of the police force and to ensure a new image that is in sync with international best practices. For now, uh, we have seen some decimal of changes and I believe that we improve further because the seriousness, the commitment to which all our men have taken this issue, it shows it is better well, with the community engagement. It is hoped that officers of the SARS will embrace good principles in order to have cordial relations with members of the general public.